race of the Facuto 500! Hosted this Saturday in the charming Duchy of Luxenstein. What a race this promises to be, folks, with continued participation of teen race superstar, Liam! With his wry British wit, dashing good looks, and a string of nail-biting victories, Liam is the first race car driver to become a certified teen heartthrob! Well, what do you think? My next interview, Liam! I know he's a race car driver, but he's hip, he's happening, and everybody is crazy about him! <laughs> Especially you! My interest is purely professional. Of course it is! You are the fashion editor, after all. And boy, does he look sweet in that jumpsuit. Okay, okay, you're right, Jade. He'd be a great interview. If you could score it. But how are you gonna do that? We don't know anything about racing. Oh, there's gotta be some way to get close to him. Perhaps I can be of help? Byron? How did you get in here? Do you really want to know? As a matter of fact, I... Good, because we have much more important matters to discuss. It seems I need you to do a little undercover work. Whoa, I don't know about doing the spy thing anymore. My life is nice and simple right now. Yeah, I can help me out. Well, have it your way. Of course, Liam could be in grave danger. Liam? How come? The Fakuto 500 is held five times a year at different cities all around Europe. As it so happens, every time a race has visited a host city, that city has suffered a jewel theft from its local museum. We suspect that the thief or thieves are somehow affiliated with the race. You don't think that Liam would? Oh, of course not. Liam is the son of the top secret minister of international security. In fact, he's volunteered to help us investigate. I had a... Promised him four undercover associates. We're in! What? Liam needs me! Uh, us. He needs us. Professionally speaking, of course. just to ogle that Liam boy. Like, we're also gonna interview him, right? Him? Huh! Why interview a boy when you can interview... a man? This girl's is three-time Fakuto 500 runner-up, Billy Bob Nitro. Hey, darling, what you want from me? Oh, silver-tongued devil, you have such a way with words. First, we'll do an interview. I don't do no interviews. No, but surely you will. For the president of the Billy Bob Nitro fan club. Oh, his animal magnetism just sends me into overdrive. So, ladies, here's the deal. This is the last race of the Fakuto 500, the thief's last chance to make a move. Ah, here we go. Liam's car. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. So nice. Smoke it. Oh, I'm glad you all like it. Because one of you will be driving a car much like it. Say what? Didn't I mention? You're going undercover as a race team. Three of you will be the pit crew, and one of you will drive in the Fakuto 500. Say what? Well, hello there. I'm Liam. Don't worry, I have this effect on girls all the time. Liam, I would like you to meet Sasha, Chloe, Yasmin, and Jade. The brats, yes, of course. Uh, who've heard of us? Uh, I mean, you, you've heard of us? I read your magazine all the time. Oh, Thank you. That article you wrote on accessorizing crash helmets was smashing. 
Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, the caution flag is out, and there's a meltdown on the track. Psst. Earth to Jade, keep your focus, girl. We're here to work, remember? What's all this then? A load of teen magazine girlies. No interviews. Go on. Ladies, if I may, this is Poppy Crankwell, my mechanic. Mr. Crankwell, these are the undercover agents I was talking about. Them? Listen, you. Liam's a racer. His job's to win, not solve crimes. Ah! I don't like it one bit. Now, if you'll excuse us, girlies, we've got a racing car to lock up. Somebody's not happy to see us. Poppy's got, uh, anger issues. I'll soften him up. Off to the garage. Speaking of garages... Presenting the Supercharged Team Bratz Roadster! Whoa! To deduce which of you is best qualified to race, I ran your driving records and personalities through my organization's mainframe computer. And the winner is... Jade! Me? No way! I'm a terrible driver! I have eight speeding tickets just this year. Exactly! You're perfect! You'll begin your training immediately with Liam. Let's get started! You three are Jade's pit crew. You'll train with Poppy. Oh. I'm the celebrity announcer. <laughs> so... During the 500, you'll be on your own. Keep your eyes open. It's not clear when the culprit will strike or where he'll strike. I'm Billy Bob Nitro, and I'm a dangerous man. <laughs> oh, you can print that. <laughs> oh, Billy Bob. I'll print that, all right. On a locket, and I'll wear it next to my heart. So, tell me, Speedy, what is it that really revs your engine? Hey, jerky, mostly. Nachos. My house here. Best thing about trailer life, even when you're on the road, you're always at home. I got everything I need. Got my porta potty, got my propane stove. I got no, my final look. map of the year. Billy Bob has a giant system. horse doofra fork. That's hors d'oeuvre, you thimble brain. Yeah, and it's not a fork, it's a boomerang. See? <laughs> oh, you done busted my lucky helmet! <gasps> oh, and you scratched my lucky crowbar. I just polished it. <laughs> so, you finally found the brick, did you? Quite all right. Try again. In reverse this time, if you please. And this time, easy on the accelerator. Of all the cockamamie schemes I've ever been a part of, this one takes a cake. Training fashion girlies to be a real-life pit crew. You think you have what it takes. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Shop mechanics now, do you? What's this? Sloppy work, girls. You didn't take off a jack handle when you were done. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up my garage and get out of here! Why is he so cranky anyway? It's almost like he doesn't want us to solve the crime. I'm getting a very suspicious feeling about that dude. Pretty princess, how about you and I mosey on after him? See where he's going. Angel, you mind cleaning up? I'm on it. What the? Hey, you girl, get out of 
out of there. What do you think you're doing? Like, duh, we're washing your car. Verdine said we had to be nice for scratching your boomerang. Uh, it's not a boomerang gas can. Fender face! Oh, oh, get away from it! Don't it. Stop fighting and close the windows! Lousy teenagers thinking they can do anything they want. Just like that Liam dude. Smirking and talking all English all the time. Winning all that prize money that ought to be mine. People will wake up. Oh, yes. Believe me, they'll remember Billy Bob in the end. So, here's what we have so far. Billy Bob's jealous of Liam for winning all the time. And he needs money. And Poppy doesn't want us around. We better keep tabs on both of them before one of them makes his move. What the? Liam's car! It's been stolen! Sorry I couldn't get here sooner. There was a burglary at the Museum of Precious Gemstones. Yeah, well, someone really conked Chloe on the head. Next thing I knew, Liam's car was racing away, and... And here it comes back again? Missing something? But how'd you... I was driving back to our garage when Liam's car came swerving right at me about a block from the museum. Liam? Hey! Did you get a good look at him? Nah, uh, he was wearing a visor. But check it, I found this next to the driver's seat. Hmm, all the tools you'd need to break into a museum. No doubt he was making his getaway when you found him. I also found this. Poppy's cap? <gasps> Poppy's the jewel thief? It does look suspicious, but a greasy cap isn't exactly solid evidence. Don't forget Billy Bob. He was acting mighty suspicious right before the break-in. Hey, wait a minute. If you drove this car back, where's our car? With Liam? Liam? I dropped him off a long time ago. I mean, really, Liam's fine, but racing is off the hook. I'll go back for our car in a minute. <laughs> Don't go alone, Cool Cat. We've got a couple of very dangerous suspects on the loose. Keep your eyes open during the race tomorrow, Jade. There's no telling what will happen next. Good morning, race fans, and welcome to the 67th running of the Fakuto 500! Good luck, Cool Cat. We got your back. Thanks. Shut your yaps and eat my dust, you Sunday drivers. I got me a date with destiny. I suspect it's the first date you've had in quite a while. Oh, yeah, pretty boy. Well, in a minute, you'll be kissing the pavement. Well, hello, Poppy. Nice cap. By this morning? Eh? I got a dozen of them. The drivers are ready. Here's the flag.
Bubbles, Bob. Ah, oh, go babysit someone, teenage girl. There ain't room out here for all of us. Actually, you're right. There isn't room for all of us. with no international treaties. The type of place that welcomes criminals. Criminals? Liam, say it ain't so. Oh, dry up, Poppy. Ah, there's the border now. Open up, fellows. I'm here as arranged with your dazzling bribe. Ah, and what a surprise. Not a single one of you pitiful brats is here to stop me. <laughs> telling me those come standard with this model. Good work, girls. Europe owes you a tremendous debt of gratitude. No problem, Byron. All in a day's work. And to think you offered your own father help in the investigation. It was the perfect cover until the brats ruined it. We'll see how perfect you think it is when you see personally how ashamed he is. Whoever would have thought that under such a cute exterior there could lurk such a creep. Speaking of creeps, <laughs> heck of a race. Glad I won, but uh, sorry I passed judgment. <laughs> Thanks. Although, honestly, we did the same thing with you. Yeah, and hey, there's something I don't understand. Yesterday, we saw you storming off, saying how you were gonna set things right. Yeah, what was that all about? Ah, that? I was just fetching a padlock. 
Them pink ladies was driving me nuts. <laughs> for the interview at the animal shelter at 2 o'clock, right? 12 o'clock? But it's 12.30 now. Ah! But I called for a cab half an hour ago. I'm supposed to be at the Cosmetics <coughs> Expo in 15 minutes. What do you mean I can't have a backstage pass? I am getting a pass if I have to come right down there myself. <coughs> hey, guys. My fashion show was canceled. Anyone want to go to the mall with... Not now. Gotta go. Yasmin, do you want to... No, can't. Hey, Bunny Boo, how about I tag along with you? Stay here and answer the phones. Well, yes, ma'am. After all, I guess I've got nowhere important to rush off to. I'll just answer the phones. Hmm. <coughs> and do stuff. Here by myself. Well, at least I'm not totally by myself. Oh. Hi there, Micah, little sweetie. Come hang out with your favorite person. <gasps> Guess today I'm no one's favorite person but my own. Listen, you! I asked for a shipment of hot new togs from Oscar de la Rini. Not new hot dogs from Oscar de la Weenie. No, I did not place the order myself. I left it up to my hollow-headed assistants. Hang on. What? Von Von Wurstenberg? The mother of pink? <gasps> Miss Von Wurstenberg, your fashions have been such an inspiration. I trust our interview is canceled. But they what? I asked them to send you a fruit basket, not fruit bats. Well, surely the drapes can be dry cleaned. <laughs> You have puncture wounds. Oh. Hello? Hello? Ah! Like, hello? Where have you two been? We were at the laundromat. Yeah, washing your unmentionables. What unmentionables? We're, like, not allowed to mention. Ah! You fools! My brand new Louis Couture handbag from France! You shrank it! Silly! We wouldn't wash your big old handbag. We bought this for you. You did? Yeah, because we, like, accidentally ran over your big handbag and dragged it on the street. Then it got stolen by some smelly guy. But I guess it wasn't his style, because he just, like, took out all your credit cards and threw them in the sewer. Which just goes to show, big handbags are out, small ones are in. That does it! You don't, like, want it? I don't want you, either of you, ever to set foot in my office again. But, duh, how will we come to work? You won't, because you're fired! And this time, I mean it. Royale! Show them the door. <laughs> Great. Thanks to those nincompinks, I actually have to pay someone to answer my phone. Hello, Stylesville Employment Agency? Send a temp to Your Thing magazine. I don't care if no one wants to work here. Find someone. And I'm paying money, so she better be good. I don't know about you guys, but I am wiped out. I hear you, pretty princess. All I want is a quick smoothie before I go home and crash. I just sat through the dullest interview. The animal shelter lady kept yawning and saying how she was dog-tired and wanted to curl up for a cat nap. Yeah, well, I finally got backstage after the concert, but I was the only one backstage. Everyone else went for pizza. Ugh, the air conditioning was broken at the makeup convention. My makeup smeared so much, I <gasps> looked like a melting clown. Thanks, Smooties. I would not wish today on anyone. Except, except the, the Tweebles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the guys. 
hanging out without me? I'm just really glad that Jay didn't come with me. Huh? I know. It would have been horrible if she had tagged along. She so did not deserve to be at that convention with me. What? <laughs> to Jade, may she stay as far away from us as possible. Things you know are I mean? back in that. Well, fine then. If they want me to stay away, then I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that brat girl, Jade. And she's like crying. <gasps> Let's make fun of her. What's the matter, cry baby? Yeah, did you just make Verdine mad and get fired from her magazine? You got fired? What a tragedy. <laughs> you once got fired by Burdine. You got me fired by Burdine. Yeah, okay. But once you were fired, how did you, like, ever recover? I started my own magazine. With my ex-friends. Ex-friends? You mean the brats dumped you? No, they... Ugh, mind your own business. But we have, like, no business to mind! With Albert Dane, we're nothing. Nothing times two, which is worse! Come on, we won't make fun of you, we promise. And hey, I'm, like, sorry we got you fired a long time ago. It was, like, really not good of us. Okay, time for a reality check. My friends are totally mean to me. And now, my two worst enemies are actually being nice? Hey, after today, I guess anything is possible. Okay, you wanna know what my friends did? They dissed me, ignored me, treated me like, well, you guys do. Ew! Ew. So let's just say I'm not feeling too friendly toward them right now. Well, hey then, why not hang out with us? We've got so much in common, like needing friends, for instance. We'll be such way good friends, your old friends will be, like, jealous. Jealous? Furious, more like it. Dumping them for Kirsty and Casey would be the ultimate diss. Oh, let's do it! Okay, I'll hang with you, but on one condition. No being mean. It's not my style. Deal. BFF secret handshake. Ow, 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 ow. That's even more secretive. Same thing in the cafeteria like every once a month. Hi, Jade. Hey, cool cat. What's up? Um, why is Jade sitting with the Tweevils? Um, why are you, like, sitting with us? Because we're BFFs. You mean you weren't just being nice to us yesterday because we got fired? Duh, baloney brain. How can you be so dense? I swear, sometimes it's like you... Uh, uh, uh. Remember, no being mean. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <gasps> That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me! Oh, stop being so sappy. You're gonna, like, make me cry all over again. What are they saying? I tried reading Casey's lips, but there's too much gloss in the way. <gasps> I think Kirsty's crying. But why is Jade with them? Only one way to find out. The direct approach. Hello, girls. Like, what are you... No, it's Sasha. Hi, Sasha. Is there something we can do for you, Sasha? Um, well, yeah, I guess. See, this whole thing right here is just whack, and I want... No, I demand to know what's going on! Why I'm eating lunch with my friends. 
Kirsty and Casey. Your friends? Since when are they your friends? Since, like, yesterday. We have a BFF secret handshake. And you can't see it. Okay, is this one of those hidden camera shows? No, it's real. Real friendship is neato. We can't help it if some people are just too narrow-minded to accept it. Narrow-minded? Now, if you don't mind, I think we'll finish our lunch outside, where people know how to treat each other. Well, Bunny Boo, she's not actually friends with the Tweevils, is she? <sighs> not only is she friends with them, she dissed me! <gasps> but why? Maybe the Tweevils planted a chip in Jade's brain. Maybe they have chips in their brains. Maybe they're all being turned into zombie drones for a worldwide chip-headed conspiracy. This is weird, Angel, but I don't think it's that weird. We have got to get to the bottom of this. Okay, when the direct approach fails, time to use the indirect approach. What in the name of neglect is wrong with this picture? <coughs> it hasn't been dusted in months. Getting rid of those useless interns was the best idea I ever had. Just look at all this unfinished work they left behind. Unpolished shoes, unpolished polish, unanswered hate mail. Now if only that worthless temp agency will send me a replacement. Sorry, lady. Big Bone Gal magazine is on the fourth floor. I am Dagmar Schadenfreude. I have been sent by Stylesville Employment Agency. Mutter Von Pink, my new assistant. Enough small talk. This office reeks of inefficiency. And dog. And weenies. I see you have a vast backlog of hate mail. I shall answer it at once. Pinch me, Royale. I'm dreaming. This is so exciting. Our first trip to the mall as best friends forever. Let's take our pictures in one of those teeny tiny picture booths. Yeah, then let's drink a whole bunch of root beer and have a burp off. <laughs> what, don't girlfriends do that? Every person is different, Casey. And if you want to have a burp off, that's okay with me. There you go, being nice again. <laughs> it's like almost starting to feel natural. You know what, BFFs? What? what? We're gonna do it all. Come on. Boss woman, the files are color coded, starting with topaz for time consuming. Time consuming? Furthermore, I have organized your calendar five months into the future. Make no plans on Christmas. But I'm already worn out, and I'm hungry. You didn't let me eat lunch. Eat this. Raw vegetables? Cooked food makes one sluggish. But enough workplace bonding. It is time for your doggy's bath. Come, doggy. I have assembled a horse and a bucket in the alley for you. Well, I want it efficient. <laughs> and I can't stand it!
it's a step. A step? Just look at us. Like, a whole non-pink world has opened up for us. BFF, you have touched our souls. Great. And, you know, you guys haven't been half bad either. But listen, it's getting kind of late. I need to go to work. Ugh, with your ex-friends. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry about me, though. I can handle myself. See you later. Bye! Uh, what a great BFF we have, Casey. You said it, Kirsty. She gives and gives. And yet all we do is take. Hello, Bratz Magazine staffers. Look, Cool Cat. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here to work. You can work and still be friendly. Oh, I would be. If there were some actual friends in the room. Say what? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Come on, girl. Time to talk. All day long, you've been acting like you're someone else. Palling around with the Tweevils. Laughing, talking, shopping. It feels like the whole world's been turned upside down. Oh, really? Is that what it feels like? You mean, like, maybe you've been totally dissed? You can say that again. Well, good. Now you know what it feels like. Diss, diss, diss. All you do is diss. Every one of you. <sighs> we diss. You're the disser. You dissed me first. Did not. Did so. I Jade, believe you, you started it. First. You can't deny it. it. All, All of a sudden, you're coming in here and acting like such oh, a liar. Stop it, stop it, stop it. What are you even talking about? Oh, please, like you don't know, hanging out behind my back. I'm just really glad that Jade didn't come with me. To Jade, may she stay as far away from us as possible. Oh, no, you didn't diss me at all. Oh, a cool cat. I'm so sorry. You overheard us at the juice bar? You bet I did. But we weren't... We didn't mean those things how they sounded. We just came back from a terrible day. We were all saying how glad we were you didn't have to suffer through it with us. Yeah. Well, what about the office yesterday morning? I guess we were pretty short with you. Hey, you know what, Cool Cat? I'm really sorry. We all got off to a bad start. The last thing I ever want to do is hurt your feelings. Please, yeah, really. Don't be mad I'm anymore. I'm so sorry. Aw, I've missed you guys so much. Friends again? Totally. Hey, yeah. We missed you too. Hey, you got Aww. it. But, uh, since you're friends with the Tweevils now, does that mean we've got to hang with them too? Oh, no, don't worry. I've got to say, though, they surprised me. Once you get to know them, they can actually be kind of nice. <laughs> I started hanging out with them because I was mad at you guys. I knew it had to be something like that. I mean, Kirsty and Casey? Those were the last two people I would have expected you to be friends with. Yeah, well, me too. Like, you, you too? too? Kirsty? Casey? Talk about a super total diss! And you say you don't do mean. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, Casey, can you believe our BFF isn't really our BFF? She is if BFF stands for Big Fat Phony! Like, duh, that would be BFF. Hey, not BFF, genius. Uh, would not! Would so? <laughs> no! All the organization, all the efficiency, I can't stand it anymore. Please, my incompetent interns, come back to me. Do you like promise not to pretend to like us? I couldn't if I tried. Deal! Kirsty, Casey! Well, 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 what have we here? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe a big fat phony. <laughs> <laughs> More like a big falling fool. Yeah, yeah. Looks 
like you finally got put in your place. Stop flapping your gums, you lazy lunkheads, and change into something decent. We have a temp to fire. Ooh, oh, like goody. Neato. <sighs> oh, Micah, if I ever hurt your feelings, please just let me know. Because this bearing a grudge stuff is a big old pain in the backside. Everybody there.